Hello everyone, welcome to a new Let's Play. Today we're going to be starting Ruin King, a League of Legends story. So, I have a bit of a history with League of Legends. I used to play it a lot back in the day, now I mostly just watch a few streamers play it. But I really, really like the story of the world and everything. So when Riot announced that they were going to be making a RPG based off of uh, one of the towns in League of Legends, Bilgewater, I was very, very hyped, and it has some of the people from Battle Chasers working on it too, which I really liked that, so I'm pretty hyped for this one. I saw it kind of released today, and I had no idea it was releasing, so we have to record it. We simply must, so there was a cool little intro cinematic that happened before this that uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab really quickly so we can see that, and then we'll hop in. All right, here we are at the intro. Let's see what you got. Nah, you shouldn't have taken her to the pet cemetery. That was a bad idea. <laughs> it's that boy! We got a lot of uh, very recognizable characters there. Um, I believe I know who that character at the beginning was. I think it's one of the new characters that I'm not super familiar with. But we had Miss Fortune, Braum, Elaoi, Elaoi. I always just call her Aloha. But we had, we had a few characters that we recognized there. So this seems like it'll be pretty interesting. I think Gangplank is in here too. So let's go ahead and hop in. Got a good little pirate themed story. And then we got the various, we got Braum's shield, Misfortune's guns, and, uh, Elawe's, uh, lantern. I hope this game's voice acted so I can actually figure out how to say her name. Alright, so, our subtitles on? That's something I want to go ahead and be sure of. It's always a question where, um, subtitles are gonna be audio? L language. <laughs> 
text language. Okay, I guess they're on. I just wanted to be sure. All right, new game. Uh, standard difficulty balance for a moderate challenge. Great if you're new to turn-based role-playing games. Story game. Enemies are more difficult, and you'll need to dive into your full set of abilities to succeed. Good for classic turn-based RPG fans that want more challenging combat encounters. I think that's me. I think that's me. We can turn it down if we need to, but I've played quite a lot of turn-based RPGs, so this is probably the best call. In Bilge Robber, monsters are real. When I was a girl, my mother was murdered by a low-life coward named Gangplank. He shot me and left me for dead. There was no trial. In Bilgewater, he was the law. I hunted him. I killed his men. I watched Gangplank die, washed away on the burning tide. But there are still monsters about. For centuries, the Buru people have protected these islands from the worst of them. But even they fear the heroines. Attacks in the form of a lethal black mist, courtesy of our unliving neighbors on the Shadow Isles. Each time, the heroines return stronger, while the Buru grow distant. How long can we rely on prayers and magic? My monsters are flesh and blood. They don't frighten me. Only one thing does. Becoming one of them. Yeah, we're in a very League of Legends story. So anybody that doesn't understand any of the things going on, I can kind of explain some things. But uh, I think largely you'll be able to understand what's going on. Use quick strike in combat to automatically select your champion's base instant attack and target the enemy with the lowest health. Oh, cool. So just basic attack the enemy with the lowest health. Look at that view. So we're playing as Misfortune. It's almost quiet from up here. If only I didn't know better. This is quite a view. Jeez. Good morning, Captain. Your guest has arrived. Raffin, remember when we could just take what we wanted, go where we wanted? We didn't have a care in the world. Now look at us. Taking appointments, attempting diplomacy. Well, at least our line of diplomacy still involves guns. That may be true, but when he was Reaver King, Gangplank only used guns. If I unite the gangs with violence, will the city still think of me as a savior? Gangplank was a tyrant, Sarah. You're tough, but you aren't cruel. I'm proud to be your first mate. And the rest of the crew is proud to call you our captain. The gangs will follow you. It's only a matter of time. They can't follow me if they're dead. Hopefully I can change their minds before they're all wiped out. Some dogs won't obey until you show them the stick. Well then, let's not keep Captain Thorne waiting any longer. Okay, so you're not afraid to rule with an iron fist if you need to. But you're probably better than Gangplank, at least. Follow Raffin. Move character. We can sprint with shift. Cool beans. Do I loot anything? I don't... Are, are we going Divinity Original Sin or what? Do I need to loot all the pots? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, we have like a ping for items. Okay, I do have to loot the pots. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> At least we have a ping. Oh, boy. Okay, we're going full divinity. Five moderate health potions and 50 gold. Uh, got some stuff hiding out over here. Okay. Okay, this is even more up my alley than I thought it was going to be. Okay, cool. Gonna be hitting that middle mouse button a lot, so get ready for that. Raffin, where are you hiding all the money? I'm stealing from myself. Nothing to report, Captain. Alright. Look at me.
All right, got ourselves a good old revenge quest. Captain, still got the bullets in my chest. Oh wow, they Becoming never removed them. Like wasn't enough, Ratham. But you beat him. You're still breathing, and he's in little pieces all over the bottom of the ocean. Those bullets are just little reminders. I wish they didn't remind me so damn much. Uh, apparently auto advanced text is on. I want to turn that off, if that's an option. Game, motion blur, rumble, subtitles, large subtitles, auto advanced dialogue, go away. I want to be able to pause when I can to get my thoughts out. Alright, so is that 9? Are we level 9? I guess so. Oh hey, look, it's uh... That's double up, isn't it? I think that's one of uh... Or is it not? Is that not double up? Well, maybe it, maybe if I hit something, it would be double up. All right. So I think that's the name of her. Uh, I forget which ability it is, but one of them. Is that you, Raffin? All right. So some places to go in here. I actually forgot Misfortune's name was Sarah. No matter what crew I'm part of, I give it my all. All right. Got over here. Got some eclectic characters hanging out. Five more health pots. Gangplank ran this town like he ran his ships. You gave him sweat or blood. Gangplank was a killer, but more than anything, a con man. He'd spend tales of goals turning sailors into thugs. Gangplank wasn't a man, he was an idea. Some people say ideas don't die. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes if there people are so fanatical behind a person, if you kill the person. The idea is still there, and someone will just replace the person once the seed has been planted. It's kind of it. Boom, boom. More loot. Some men don't want fair and nice. They like Gangplank's way. Well, they're wrong. In the years Gangplank's been gone, my people have been getting rich. Long may the new queen reign. Hey, you seem to like me at least. Noxus, we would have overthrown Gangplank into the we would have thrown Gangplank to the arena. Would have been more fun. Folks fear the black mist, but me, I think it keeps life interesting. Alright. So yeah, we are right beside the Shadow Isles. We saw Thresh, and uh, I think the character I was talking about is Viego? I think that's the character we saw at the beginning? Possibly? I might be wrong there. I'm not super familiar with the lore of some of the newer champions. So... We shall see in due time. But it certainly looked kind of like Viego. And given Viego's lore in it, is that a Yordle? It's a Yordle! Yordles are like, basically the Moogles of this universe. I see you've been doing some remodeling. Oh, okay, you're a character. What can I say? The place needed a woman's touch. I don't think the previous owner would mind. Guess not. Seeing as how you gunned him down, along with the rest of the conclave. Are you here to parlay, Captain Thorne, or to criticize my sense of decor? I trust you've considered my offer. Offer? <laughs> Hand over my operations to you, my fleet, and all of my men, or else. Oh, misfortune. You may have killed Gangplank, stolen his fancy mana, but that don't make you my queen. From where I'm standing, it looks like Bilgewater is still up for grabs. Now give it up, girl. You know I'd hate to ruin that pretty face. I'll love to ruin your ugly one. So much for diplomacy. You know, Raffin, I think I'm starting to enjoy it. Ooh, our first battle. Let's go. All right, quick strike was what they mentioned. Combat speed times two. You'll initiate a combat encounter when engaging enemies in the world and at major story moments. Fighter cards display key stats such as level, health, and mana. The initiative bar displays the order in which fighters will perform actions. When a fighter's portrait reaches the front of the initiative bar, it's their turn. When it's your fighter's turn, you can perform one of many combat abilities. Instant abilities do not cost mana and are performed immediately after confirming a target. 
Lane abilities cost mana and require time to cast. Pay attention to the fighter turn order when selecting abilities. Take this wave of combat. Okay, so we have things that actually need to cast. So, yeah, lane abilities and... Okay, instant, that's, uh... What do you want me to use here? Oh, okay, there we go. I tried selecting it. Yeah, there's fancy footwork. Reduce all damage taken by 40%, increases evasion by 10%. While fancy footwork is active, strut is not removed upon taking damage. So what is uh what what does strut do in this? I guess it's just my passive, so I can't really see it here, huh? Okay, and then we have inspect mode. Can I inspect myself? I can inspect them. Okay, so they have wild shots deal moderate damage over six hits, but has a 25% chance to miss. Deals heavy damage and has an extra 25% chance to crit. Ouch, owie, my bones. Okay, we don't want to get hit by those. So, instant love tap. 55 damage generates 10 overcharge, applies taps. And lane. So let's just let's just start off with the love tap. Hmm. Maybe I should use this to start off. Maybe just reducing our damage. Let's let's reduce our damage. Yeah. Here we go. Evasion up. And we take reduced damage. So now it's my turn again, so I'm just a hell of a lot faster than you guys. Okay, 55 damage and generates overcharge. So let's go ahead and hit you with a love tap. And you're tapped. So I think that means if I hit you again now, then you take extra damage, right? So... Wait, what? They're like... What is this? What's this like little dialogue bubble they have? Do I click it? Oh no, it's telling me what they're thinking about doing. So they're both going to attack me, obviously. So we have enemy intentions. Kind of like in uh, Slay the Spire, so we can tell what they're going to do. Oh yeah, okay, using that buff was a good idea. Okay, you missed three of them. Kind of suck. Uh, alright. 124, okay, Shredder. 124 damage split randomly over six shots. Double up. There's double up. 69 damage to the target and 69 to a nearby target. The first target is defeated. The second shot will deal an additional 34 damage. Both hits apply tapped. Ah, here we go. Deal 150 damage. If the target has tapped, deal 242 instead and consumes tapped. Okay. So... Let's uh, hit you with another love tap. I should be able to kill you with like another attack, right? You guys don't get to attack this turn. So let's lo uh oop, not fancy footwork. Love tap you. Does that kill? Well, if it crits, it does. Now I'm gonna love tap you and then hit you with my lane ability to do big damage, hopefully. So love tap. All right, and then you don't get a turn because you're slow. And now it's my turn. Let's use a uh, Heartbreaker. Yeah, let's do that. So I got a cast here, and then this is gonna do monstrous damage to you. Boom. Awesome, okay, this seems pretty cool so far. Oh, hey, it's you, nerd. Overcharged by performing certain instant abilities. Overcharge acts like a temporary bonus mana that can only be used to cast lane abilities during that encounter only. When you're low on mana, generate overcharge and stay in the fight. Okay, so we use basic attacks, we can generate overcharge. That's neat. Well, I'm gonna tap you first. Is my buff still going? My fancy footwork? You can select a healing potion from the potion bag. Combat will end in defeat if your entire party's health reaches zero. Manage your health wisely and keep fighting. Well, that's fine, because uh, I'm going to use Heartbreaker on you right now, and you're going to almost be dead. Oh, you got a muzzle loader, friend. Go bluey. Big damage. One more love tap, and you're dead. Okay, you emptied your mag. And dead. Eat shit, nerd. Alright. Good job, MF. What's the what's her taunt? 
Watch your mouth, kid, or you'll find yourself respawning at home. <laughs> Enemy slain. Uh, got some overcharge only. You get bonus XP for that. Two waves. All right, and we got gold and white essence. I didn't see what that was. Whoopsie. All right, I'm interested to get some of the other characters and see what they're like. I'll consider this your formal surrender. The syndicate will never follow you. You hear me, tyrant? I'll die first. Well, you're, you've got a pretty good head start on that. I see. How about you, boys? Does your captain speak for you all? Well then, Captain Thorne. I'd say this meeting is adjourned. Ooh. Okay. The rest of you, welcome to my crew. Prove yourselves loyal and you'll be rewarded. Betray me, or even whisper the name Gangplank, and I'll stuff you in a box with your former captain. Understood? Yes, Captain. All right. Roll with fear. Not my tr not what I would do, but go for it, I guess. Another successful recruitment. Minus a few stubborn holdouts, the Syndicate's with us now. Their ships, their guns... But none of their leaders. Not yet. Even if I have to put a bullet in every captain from the shipyards to the slaughter docks, I will make them understand. Bilgewater belongs to Sarah Fortune. Uh, that's not exactly a good way to rule. That's how you get a knife in your back, but we'll see how it goes for you. Later that night. Brom? Oh ho ho. No. Rathen? Uh. Okay, we're just gonna fly to ghosts. I hope these are silver bullets. Mist Walker Sailor. Lane switching, beware. The enemy has a buff called Primed Mist Bomb that will detonate and hurt your party upon death unless it is first disarmed with a speed lane ability. When selecting lane abilities, you can switch from the default balance lane to the speed lane or power lane using the lane up and down buttons. What? So is this like back and front rows in like old JRPGs? Performing an ability in the speed lane will reduce the cast time so it can be performed more quickly but with weaker impact. Performing an ability in the power lane will increase its cast time, taking longer to perform but with stronger. Pay attention to each enemy's mechanics and use lane switching to gain the upper hand. Weird. Heavy damage to all champions. A speed lane attack will disarm the bomb. Okay, so how do I swap lanes? Uh... Lane. Uh, speed lane. There we go. That's how I do it. So, yeah, speed lane attack will... will, uh, end it. Um... I mean, I'll... No, you know what? Let's, let's do a instant first. Let's just do a love tap to get you tapped, and then I'll use the other ability. <clears throat> Alright, you're gonna attack me. Ooh, it poison. Okay, that's nasty. Don't like that. Uh, and now we're gonna switch to the speed lane and use this on you, which will still kill you. Yeah. <clears throat> and the speed lane attack is supposed to disarm the bomb, so... Don't know why a ghost has a bomb, but whatever. Okay, that works. What do we get? Uh, condensed mana crystal. This crystal glows faintly with energy, used for enchanting. Man, why don't we have mana pots? Worst thing they took out. I miss my mana potions. The black mist. How is this possible? I smell a thresh. All right. Um, should be good as long as we don't get hooked. All right. Go through here. I've already looted all that stuff. I was wondering if it like refreshed with new stuff, but no. Is that you? Is that our friend? Oh, hi. Okay, more combat. Uh, a sorrowful wisp. 
and hazard poison mist. Hazards. You've encountered a combat encounter while standing in a hazard called Poison Mist. This has created a hazard initiative bar region that will travel along with the fighter portraits. Fighters in your party that are inside of the region will be targeted. Once the region reaches the front of the bar, it will apply its effects to any of your fighters that are currently targeted. Luckily, you can use lane abilities to switch lanes and maneuver in and out of the initiative bar regions. Take control of your fighter placement on the initiative bar and take control of the battle. Wow, okay, this is... Some interesting mechanics we got going on here. I'm definitely, definitely going to get confused at some point. On death, increase attack power of all allies by 25%. And so I should kill you first. So let's love tap the sailor. And I have to disarm your stupid bomb. Ooh, magic sunder. What is that status? Imagine that just lowers my magic defense, right? Alright, well, I'm not in the thing, so let's move up to the speed lane and use Heartbreaker. Right? Um, does that count as me being in the thing? I don't, I don't think so, right? Magic Sunder. And Sunder. So yeah, that just must lower my magic resistance and my defense. That must be what that is. Basically, all of my defense is down. Okay, we're good. Ow. I'm poisoned. Okay. Strut activated, but I don't know what Strut does yet. Alright. Um, go ahead and instant love tap you. Good stuff. Okay, I'm just barely out of the region, so we should be good. No targets. Haha. -ha. Yes, okay, so I wasn't in it earlier either. Okay, you're love tapped now. I don't really think I need to use that. Uh, yeah, I don't really think I need to use it. Um, it's kind of overkill. Eh, nah, let's use it just to finish the fight now. So... Kablooey. Boom. Alright, we got a lot of interesting mechanics going on in this game. It's gonna create some interesting combat down the line that I'm definitely going to screw up. Jeez, Misfortune, do you have to be level 9? It's so hard to level up dead already. Damn it. Sure are. Big dead. Oh, hey. Okay. Oh, just one of you? Alright, well, that's not bad at all. God, playing three RPGs at the same time is gonna make my brain hurt. I'm gonna get them mixed up so badly. <laughs> but there's so many good RPGs coming out. Damn it. The struggle. Uh... This is gonna waste some mana, but whatever. I wanna finish the fight quickly. You keep sundering me. So can I use potions outside of combat? I'm kinda curious about, cause I'm a little bit low on HP right now and would like to get some more if possible. Um, uh, here we go. Moderate health potion. Okay, I can use those out of combat. Good. Oh, hey, you good? Okay, we're in Poison Mist. I'll be alright. Muggo and I'll be good as new. They knocked my picture over, man. That's messed up. So, if I just don't fight in the Poison Mist, we'll be good. I just shouldn't fight in that area, like, ever. Hi? Oh, hey, it's, uh... That. No, don't run into the poison mist and fight it. Okay. It's a wharf rat. So, inspect mode. You have entered a combat encounter with the spectral wharf rat. These enemies have the shifting form buff, which enhances their ability to evade your attacks, but can be dispelled by attacking it with a speed lane ability. Important buff descriptions will be displayed in the combat interface. These buffs require deeper strategy to overcome. While in inspect mode, you can navigate between the initiative bar and fighter cards to get details on abilities and active buffs and debuffs. 
Be sure to inspect enemies during encounters to learn more about their strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, that's probably a good call. So, inspect. Um, let's inspect me. Or, or wait, no, I don't have a debuff yet. I, I wanted to find out what the Sunder and Magic Sunder stuff did. So, Spectral Bite, Light Damage, increases attack power and haste for all allies, lasting two turns. That was a long cooldown. All non-speed lane attacks have a 15% chance to miss. Dispelled when hit with a speed lane attack. Okay. I have also played uh, quite a bit of Legends of Runeterra as well. So I wonder if we're going to see any of the uh, creatures that are in that game coming up here. Um, Alright, well... We need to go to lane abilities. Switch to speed lane and... I think I'll do... 112 damage split randomly over 6 shots I think would be better than double up. Eh, hopefully I don't miss. That's the problem. Don't miss. Okay, good. I didn't miss. And now both of you are tapped. So that'll be an easy kill. Good stuff. Ow. Oh, I landed myself right in the poison mist though. Damn it. Okay. That was my fault. Uh, let's go over here to lane. 124 damage. Okay, I think I just want to use this on you. But we can do it from the speed lane and have it go off faster. Because you're, you're going to die from it no matter what, so... There we are. Oh yeah, I need to check my Sunder status. See what that's all about. Alright, Warfrat's dead. Stupid Wisp, you're next. Alright, so what is, uh... Inspect, boom. Increases magic damage taken by 10%, increases physical damage taken by 10%, and deal 48 true damage each tick. So true damage basically just goes through armor and resistances. So that blows. Um, hmm. Magic's under... Okay, and sta it stacking it more doesn't increase how much... Like, it doesn't increase the amount of damage I'm taking, it just increases the turns that it's staying on me. So that's not the biggest deal in the world. Uh, I'll just keep love tapping you. Dead. Good stuff. Alright. Got some gold. Got some XP. There we go. Thank you so much, Captain. I was a goner for sure. Captain, where's Raffin? He was just here. He can't have gone far. Alright. And with that, I think we'll go ahead and end this first episode of Ruined King off. This has been pretty cool so far. I'm quite into it. So happy that we're getting like a little isometric RPG like this set in the League of Legends universe. So I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you next time for some more.